Welcome back to a beginner's guide for Farming Simulator 22. Uh, this is day five on our farm. We're in December and it's snowing outside. Uh, today, I figured we might go over some advanced field work, the things that we didn't do on our original field. Now that we have this new field, we need to work it so that we can get full yield when we do plant a crop in that field. So I'm going to go to the store and I'll meet you there. Okay, we find ourselves at the store. We have a few tools we need to buy. If we go into the store, we are going to buy a mulcher so that we can mulch the crop. Uh, the first two are best for um, vineyards and olive groves because they're very narrow. We want something that's going to be decent on the price, but also give us an all right size. Three meters is probably fine for the fields that we have. Uh, what this is going to do is it crushes the crop stubble and uh, it's going to increase our yield by a little bit. We're going to go ahead, we'll buy this one. That'll be big enough for us for now. We're also going to buy roller there's only two options in the base game so we'll buy the smaller of the two as it comes is fine so we'll buy that then we are going to buy a stone picker to get those stones out of our field uh, and this one we're going to opt for the most expensive one the two smaller ones are fine, but they're offset to the side. As you tow it, it'll open up. Your tractor will be here, and it's off to the side. I don't really like that, personally. This one you tow directly behind you. I prefer that, so... Since we have just enough money, I'm going to buy that as well. So I will get these tools... That should be all we need. I think we have everything else we need for these fields. Oh, we do also need to buy, while we're here, a few bags of lime. Lime's fairly cheap, so let's buy four bags, because it goes really quick. Well, by that, we'll have to come back and get that later. But I will ferry all of this back to the farm. It's all lined up right here. I'll get this to the farm and I'll see you when we're there. Okay, so now I've gotten all the tools over here. The first thing we're going to do is mulch the field. So it's in a harvested state right now. We use the mulcher. It should turn it into a mulched state. If we look at the controls that it has, you don't have to unfold it or anything. Just B to turn it on and V to lower it. And then we can double check in here. See, it spread out everything else so it makes it easier to see. The little purple line behind us there says that it's mulch. So, I'll go ahead and I'll mulch this whole field and then I'll get back with you for the next step.
Okay, that's the field mulched. Go ahead and put this away. And the next thing we're going to do is spread lime on the field. Okay, so, I don't know, right there is fine. I already went and picked up the lime in our spreader. Go ahead and spread this. go. Now we're covered in lime. We'll put the lime spreader away. We'll move on to our next step. We've mulched. We've limed. We're going to cultivate. Then we can pick the stone. Cultivator here. Go ahead and get this cultivated. Okay, so the field is now fully cultivated. We'll grab our stone picker, clean up all these stones that are everywhere. Put this down. And the stone picker. X to unfold it. B to turn it on. B to drop it down. And we'll go ahead and pick the stones out of the field.
Okay, it's getting difficult with the angle of the sun to see what we have and haven't done. Let's take a look at our field. So, I don't see... One tiny little dot of fertilizer. Volume is all done. There's no weeds on it right now. Let's get this off the field just so we can verify there's no stone. Now that we're off the field. Yeah, I don't see any stones left on this field, so I think we got it all. We'll go ahead and fold this back up with X. We're only 11% full with the stone picker, so we'll just leave the stones in there for now. Can we do our three other fields? Have a uh, bigger haul to try to go sell somewhere. See if there is one of those stone crushers on the map. We'll do that once that's a little more full. Okay, so we're not going to plant this field until I believe it was April. We're planting sorghum in April. It's December. We don't have anything really to do in January, February, and March. So I'm going to go ahead and skip head time. We'll just sleep through uh, January, February, and March. And I'll get back with you in April and we'll finish this field up. Okay, so we slept through January, February, and March. Now April, and we can sorghum. Head back over to our field. We see our crops are growing nicely. We do have weeds in the field, but as we plant, it should knock those weeds down. Shouldn't have to worry about those. Gotta move this mulch out of the way. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Put this. Actually, we'll put it in front of the cultivator for now. Because why not? I'm hoping we still have enough seeds. In our planter. Eater. Get it again. There we go. Oh yeah, we have tons. Tons of seeds. Okay, so we're on canola right now. We want to get to sorghum. So, we hit Y. Soybeans, there's sorghum. We'll go ahead and we have to hit X. Oh, it was already unfolded. The only thing that unfolds on this is that little wheel there. Holds it down so it'll make contact. And then turn it on with B. Drop it down with B. And I'll go ahead and plant this field.
field is now fully planted. So we'll put this drill away. Our next step is going to be to roll the field. Our new roller. Let's park this. There. Roll her out. Hit X to unfold. Now this should be pretty quick because these rollers are significantly bigger than any other implements that we have. We'll hit V to drop it down. And do the rolling. Okay, that's it for the rolling. We've got one more step for today. Fertilizing. In order to fertilize, we're going to have to get that lime out of our spreader. Back this up. Take our spreader. You see we got the two pallets of fertilizer right next to the spreader now. So if we bring our spreader out here somewhere, over here will probably be fine. And then we hit I on the keyboard, it'll unload. Oh, now we have three pallets of lime there. And those are most probably most likely all too heavy to move by hand. They are. So all too heavy to move by hand. So they're going to be stuck there until we get a front loader on here with pallet forks or put it back in this machine. That's fine. Okay. Now if we get close to this, we will hit R, filling. Now are we close enough? We are close enough to the other one. And we've got 1,480 liters of fertilizer. Go ahead and fertilize the field. I think that should be enough because fertilizer goes much further than the lime does. Go. B. Whole field fertilized. We missed just two tiny little spots with the roller, but that's fine. That's just a single application. So we do have to do one more application fertilizer. And we're going to need to weed this both in the next month. So let's go ahead. We'll go to sleep. And then we'll come back. Um, come back next month and do it again. Actually, leave the tractor right down here. That way, we can start right with the fertilizer next month. Okay, that's good. Alright, I'm going to go go to bed. We'll come back next month and we'll finish this field up. You can see right now, we are 50%
fertilized. We have a plus 78% yield bonus already. And there's weeds growing, but even if you use the weeder on it right now, it wouldn't do anything. You need to wait until they actually sprout. Uh, if you used herbicide on the field right now, that would kill the weeds. But we don't have a sprayer. And we only have $14,000 left in our bank account, so that's not enough to get a sprayer. Uh, this, these fields, it's 81%, 80% yield bonus 100% fertilized but it needs lime needs rolling there's still rocks in this field so for 80% 81 to 83 depends on which plant in particular you're looking at um, we'll compare our other field to that when we're done with it so I'll get back to you tomorrow okay it's now May we're going to finish this up by Doing fertilizer again we're gonna run the weeder through here we'll see what we can get our yield bonus up all right let's look at the map okay weeds mulched yeah that's pretty good a couple only one little tiny spot there we missed a maybe a tiny spot on the edge so we'll call that good next is weeding this away grab our weeder drive through the neighbor's field mulcher over there so it's not constantly sitting in front of something actually not in front of what we need anyway it's in front of the cultivator so we'll just grab the weeder all right the x open it up i'm in here quite a bit i don't need to be that white again uh, V to drop it down and then I'll go ahead and do the weeding and get back with you after that to see what we've gotten our yield bonus up to Okay, I went ahead and used an AI helper with this after doing the headlands because I couldn't see at all where I had and hadn't done. So let's see if they missed anything. Well, they missed one tiny little dot right behind us. Let's see if we can get that quick. Oh, I don't know, somewhere in here. That'll certainly be good enough. Hey, we got it. All right. Well, let's fold this up and put it away, and then we'll take a look at our field and see what our what our yield bonus is now that we've mulched, cultivated, uh, 
We mul what did we do? We mulched, we cultivated, we limed, we heated, we rolled, picked the stones out. Let's see what we got. Fertilized both. That is a hundred percent yield bonus right there. Apparently mulching um, gives you that plus two percent to get you from 98 to 100 like we talked about before but this will be maximum yield sorghum you can't do better than 100 percent plus 100 percent uh yeah so that'll be it for today we did all the work on the field it is as field as it gets we have oh let's see what do we have We planted canola, so we have two months until that canola is ready to harvest. And our soybeans, ooh, they're getting there. They're pretty pricey right now. In July, yeah, so July is the best. So July will be a busy month for us because we'll harvest. Um, all three of those other fields. And then we will sell soybeans. What is in those fields? It is canola. Okay. So canola will be at maximum value in November. So we'll harvest that in July. We'll sell our soybeans in July. And then we'll pick what else we want this sorghum that we just planted we'll be able to harvest in August and then in August if we have the money which we should from selling the soybeans we will set up a uh, chicken coop but we're gonna call that a day that's what is that six months we just went through would we start in November or December January, February, March, April, May that's quite a bit of the year. Now these have an 80-ish percent yield bonus. That won't be bad. 80 is not bad. And that is from doing nothing but fertilizing. But we're going to call that a day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow and on the next episode. Have a wonderful time. Bye.